Hey everyone! I'm Pristine and this is GN Wolf Bikini Version by Snail Shell. This figure looks really good. This is the figure that set a new standard to Snail Shell figure quality. This is the second GN Wolf figure ever and it skyrocket the quality compared to the first GN Wolf. First, painting is perfect. And the feel of the figure on the hand is really solid. The shiny blue eyes were really beautiful. This is where the snail shell really crushing the other figure brand. The detail for the face were perfect and the blush around her face were also a nice touch. The hair were quite simple here though. For her body part she looks slim and sexy. Thanks God they really made her tummy looks really delicious. And the two hole at her back. It's for you to stick action base and her accessories. And you can actually see the shape of her nipple. Coming from behind her bikini. Actually, I had something in mind. For me, her legs actually feel really long and skinny. Compared to Milk Tea, her legs looks really long and skinny. But they do looks good together like this. And thanks to this GN Wolf. Snail Shell improved their design and we got Milk Tea and the other Snail Shell girls. This two were really good to display together. Now let's take a look for the head display option. First you got two of the front hair and two of the face option. And all of the face has a moving eye gimmick. You can move the eye with the tools she come with. And thanks to this you can make her face looks really expressive. You got a winking face and a face that you put her eyes upwards and it looks perfect for your hentai face. Next you get hair with her visor equipped and without her visor on her hair. Next you got a beach sandals and bare feet. To swap it, you just need to pull her other feet and plug the feet that you want. But I prefer the shoes. Next you got a wolf tail. Just stick the tail into the hole at her back. Next is this battery thingy. You can put this instead of that tail on her back. You can open and close some of the panel on this thing. Next you got to this metal wire. To connect to that battery thingy. And you can plug this some kind of solar panel. Actually, this just looks like Dr. Octavius' mechanical arms. It's painted in metallic gold, so all good. Next, you got this pistol with bayonet. The bayonet made from clear parts. You can take the bayonet off and you can also connect the pistol to the wire from earlier. With that, you got a gun that connected directly to the power battery. Next is the huge spear or javelin or anything this is. The rod made of metal and it's really heavy. You need to slide the rod to the hand first and the handle thingy. And the spearhead itself. It looks really cool though. Actually you get an option to use it as spear or a beach umbrella. The umbrella part is huge. I'm not sure if this thing made of clear plastic or made from actual glass. Also danger alert, this part really pointy and sharp. This umbrella literally made to kill. And there's actually four of this sort on this umbrella. And because of how heavy is this umbrella, the figure can't hold it without support, but the sword goes to the holding hand just fine. Next is this briefcase. It does open. And you can store the bayonet gun earlier inside here. Or you can open the case and slide the panel at the front. Put this stand parts and you can use it as land shield. A nice display option if you ask me.
but the connection of the stand really bad and easy to fall off. Next is this thingy that you can put into her thigh. For the hand option, you got a set of fists, sets of open hand, sets of holding hands, sets of holding hands with thumbs up, and sets of trigger finger hands. For the articulation, it's the usual naked action figure. The range of movement is really great, double joint at the elbow and knee. The torso and the waist is on a ball joint so the body can really move well. The legs also really well articulated and this body is really solid and fun to play around. And that is it for the review. All and all I say this thing is really good figure to have. It's kinda expensive, but I'm having a really good time playing with this figure. It's solid and can pose really well. For posability, I think this is the best one out there. She also looks really good as a display. And she came with a ton of accessories. And I'm really looking forward for another snail shell figure. But for this GN Wolf, it's an absolute worth to buy. I would actually said that this has better quality than the most Figma this day. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe for another toy and figure review. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video. And keep watching all till the end of this video. Because I got you a bonus picture of this figure. Anyway, see you in the next one.